Good evening, YouTube. This is Joe from Mega Newsreader. Tonight's article is from Infowars.com. It is Monday, February 6th, 2012. This article is titled, Bill Gates Pours Millions into Geoengineering. Microsoft founder Bill Gates continues to pour millions of dollars into high-risk geoengineering projects that purport to offer a solution to global warming, yet have been savaged by environmentalists as potentially posing a greater threat than climate change itself. Concern is now growing that the small but influential group of scientists and their backers may have a disproportionate effect on major decisions about geoengineering research and policy reports the London Guardian. Quoting critics who allege that Gates funding has enabled geoengineering advocates to dominate the deliberations of the UN uh, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. In 2010, Gates was criticized for plowing $300,000 into a sea trial of cloud whitening technology which involved spraying clouds with microscopic particles in an effort to make them reflect more sunlight an experiment dubbed dangerous by environmental campaigners. The report reveals that Gates has backed professors David Keith of Harvard University and Ken Saldira of Stanford to the tune of $4.6 million to fund studies based around the premise of injecting sulfur particles into the upper atmosphere designed to reflect sunlight. As we have previously documented, experiments similar to Caldera's proposal are already being carried out by the United States government-backed scientists, such as those at the United States Department of Energy's Savannah River National Laboratory in Aiken, South Carolina, who, in 2009, began conducting studies which involved shooting huge amounts of particulate matter, in this case, porous walled glass microspheres, into the stratosphere. Exposure to sulfur has been linked to innumerable physical and neurological diseases including reproductive failure, behavioral changes, damage to the immune system, as well as liver, heart, and stomach disorders. Even pro-geoengineering scientist Mark Watson admits injecting sulfur into the atmosphere could lead to acid rain, ozone depletion, or weather pattern disruption. Rutgers University meteorologist Alan Robach also created computer simulations indicating that sulfate clouds could potentially weaken the Asian and African summer monsoons, reducing rain that irrigates the food crops of billions of people. The Guardian reports reveals that Gates' money is being spent by the scientists involved on lobbying governments to provide huge public funding for massive geoengineering experiments despite opposition from prominent environmentalists who warn that the potential dangers are immense. The eco click are lobbying for a huge injection of public funds into geoengineering research. They dominate virtually every inquiry into geoengineering. They are present in almost all of the expert deliberations. They have been the leading advisors to parliamentary and congressional inquiries, and their views will, in all likelihood, dominate the deliberations of the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, as it grapples for the first time with the scientific and ethical tangle that is climate engineering, said Clive Hamilton, professor of public ethics at the Australian National University. Increasing awareness of the chemtrail phenomenon has led many to speculate that massive geoengineering projects are already underway. In 2008, a KSLA news investigation found that a substance that fell to earth from a high altitude chemtrail contained high levels of barium and lead, as well as trace amounts of other chemicals including arsenic, chromium, cadmium, selenium, and silver. Of these, all but one are metals. Some are toxic, while several are rarely or never found in nature. The newscast focuses on barium, which its research shows is a hallmark of chemtrails. KSLA found barium levels in its samples at 6.8 p. 
ppm or more than six times the toxic level set by the EPA. The Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality confirmed that the high levels of barium were very unusual, but commented that pro proving the source was a whole other matter in its discussion with KSLA. The lucrative push for research grants related to geoengineering remains intense, despite new figures from the UK Met Office and the University of East Anglia Climatic Research Unit confirming that the planet has not warmed since 1997, and in fact, the real climate threat could be the onset of a new ice age. 